All right, so to start, um, always make sure that you're logging into mypurewest.com in order to make adjustments to your agent website. The majority of um, the places you guys can edit it, so you know your contact information, maybe your profile, maybe you got a agent video that you want to add or testimonials. About 90% of any kind of change to the website is through this back office side. So I know that that's confused some people. If you want to edit like the, the look of your website, you'll go to your website. If you want to edit the content of your website, most likely it's in this back office side. So um, always make sure that you log into mypurewest.com because we do have a brokerage account with back at you. So if you go to Google and type in back at you, you will not get to the place you need to go. Um, and now that I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys where you guys can adjust your testimonials. So we're going to go down to marketing and then we're going to scroll down to miscellaneous and then we're going to go to testimonials. So right now, he does not have any entered from this site. Another thing I do want to mention to you guys, um, because unfortunately you can't send, there isn't anywhere on the website for a client to just directly type in a testimonial. However, all testimonials submitted to Zillow do forward to your agent website. So, you know, this is the best way to enter it right now that we're going over. This is the best way to enter it if they've emailed you a testimonial. If they've written you and just say, hey, I'd like to write something, and you don't want to have to add it yourself, you can direct them to your Zillow account, and they can write it there, and it will still feed over to your website. So that's just one thing I want to mention. Um, so right now we're creating a testimonial. Um, I want to make sure I toggle this to yes, I want to share it on the website. I'd put whatever rating, whatever date they sent it to me, the email name, um, and then I can say, um, experience. We're looking for, um, and so now, now that I've written whatever I want to write within the testimonial, um, I would just go ahead and hit save. And now this is going to show on his website. So, and just to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go over there. I'm trying to remember, I think it shows in the about me section. Um, yep. So right now I'm the only review here. Um, again, if there are reviews in Zillow, they will forward over, but you'd still have to direct your clients over to Zillow to actually write the review in order for it to show up here. So um, just something I wanted to show you guys. And one thing you guys could do to make sure that you are gathering these testimonials, because I know that it's something that we oftentimes forget to ask for. You can create a survey And we could title it um, post-close survey. Yeah, active. And then we could just write here how your Next. OK, 
Okay, so now it's the survey questions. So we could say, out of how many stars would you rate me um, from, you know, one to five? We could also do um, just a testimonial. Yes. And then just say, um, So now, this is the only question that's a part of the survey right now. It's a testimonial. It is required. And when it says required, what it means is, is this a question that the client would be forced to answer? And that's why I changed it to yes. Um, I can always add another question. So, like, if you did want to, to have, like, you know, out of how many stars, what would you rate me, anything like that, you could add another question for now. I'm just going to say nothing. I'm done. And now I have this survey and I have the ability now to send this out to people if I want. So just something to think about. I do think that it can be a good option for you guys. Um, and if I wanted to share this, I could either email it directly or I could could just copy the website link to this and I could paste that into an email to direct them to this survey so that I can get those um, so that I can get those responses so um, it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna go ahead And all come and see. Um, but I could just copy this email link or this link into an email, send it out to my clients, gather surveys uh, or testimonials that way. So just one thing to keep in mind: you can do it this way. Save. Um, and. Um, not next week, but the week after, we will go over action plans. And this is something you could very easily automate through action plans. You would just select the survey that you want to automatically go out to people. Um, and that way you don't even have to think about necessarily emailing them. You could have an auto email go out to your clients with this survey link in it and schedule it to go out, you know, a month after close or whatever you want to do. But um, it's just the little touches like this to make sure that you're not missing out on um, potential business. And also, I mean, testimonials, I think, are one of the hardest things for us to remember after a transaction because we've you know, already done the hard work. It's just important to follow up and make sure that um, you know what people's experiences with you were so that you can share that with other people. Nowadays, I know for myself, every single time I, um, every single time I'm like looking for something in maybe a town I just moved to, I always look at the reviews first. Um, it's no different with real estate agents. People do look you up ahead of time. So it's very important that you do get reviews on there. Um, it also just communicates that you are active. If you have no testimonials, they might think you're new or that maybe you aren't um, super up to date technologically. And those are, both things that you don't necessarily want to communicate to a potential client. So it is important to get these up. If you already have a Facebook page and people have written reviews for you on that page, um, all you would have to do is just copy the information and add it to the testimonial. So um, I would just copy whatever they said get into the testimonials, click new, and then I would just paste it in here um, and make sure that I switch this to yes. So if you do have testimonials in different areas, it's very easy to add them and combine them in one central location.
any other questions? I mean, that's about all I had for today. If I went too fast, I can always re-go over the steps of how to add a testimonial and how you can create a survey, because I know I did go a little bit quickly today. This is probably my fastest training ever. We're at like 10 minutes. <laughs> I have a question that's different than this, unless other unless people want to go over this again. Yeah, shoot. If I want to change the cadence or stop the auto posting to my social, how do I do that? Okay, yeah. Um, if you don't want the automatic posting to happen anymore, let me go ahead and just stop acting as so I can access the social media center. Um, so. If you are at a stage where you don't want it automatically posting for you, you will go to social. And eventually it'll load and I can show you this. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to content. And then we're gonna scroll down and where it says content scheduling frequency. If you don't want it to, to post for you anymore, you would just click never. Make sure you hit save changes. And then it will no longer schedule content for you in the future. However, if the calendar content has already been scheduled for the month we're in, you are gonna have to go ahead and go into this content calendar and delete the posts that are already here. If you really want it to not appear anymore, you're going to have to go into each individual one and delete the posts. Make sense? Yes. Thank you. And if we want to start posting again, but we want to choose things like we, can we add our own content into that? Like, yeah, of absolutely. I, I left it too quickly. I should have stayed just a sec going back. Um, so if you want to create your own content, all you do is click this create content button and you can either do listing posts, landing page posts, which landing page posts generate leads, they're lead capture posts. So that's what they are. And then if you want to create your own post, you would just hit select. Um, you could add articles, you can add images, you can add video content, whatever you want. So I'm just going to do this for now, just so I can move forward. Um, no, it'll always ask you if you want to advertise always, I don't want to advertise. And then it's just going to ask me where I want it to go and when I want it to post. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the 30th. I have this set to a fake page. So if you guys are concerned that I am uh, scheduling a post to go out that just says hi, <laughs> don't worry. It, uh, it doesn't actually go anywhere. I just have this so I can train you guys. I was really um, I'm sure you were, you were very concerned, but, um, and then now it just takes me automatically to the content calendar and it's showing me the post that I created, which is scheduled for the 30th. So it's going to show me the ones I've created and see where it says created by and me. That's where um, you can adjust it. Now, a couple of things I would mention about this. I understand that these posts aren't always super tailored to your region or maybe your preferences. However, if you like, eh, let's go to one that's in the future. If you like the concept of a post, but you just don't like the overall look, you can always go into edit post and swap out photos. And I would recommend either using photos of listings if you have a listing. So it's just more promotion of the, um, property or you can go to sites like Shutterstock, anywhere that's going to have um, stock photos because you want to be careful that you're not just Googling images and pasting them in here. Um, but you can always snap and grab other photos if you just don't like the overall look. Um, and then just go ahead and hit continue and adjust the post. If it's just like you're not loving the way that this bathroom looks, for example, you can swap in another picture. If you want, you can always adjust the verbiage. If it just does not sound like you, um, those are all things that you can do. 
Uh, can you tag yeah. photos? For instance, let's say it's a photo of someone. Can you tag that photo? Um, you know, that's a good question. I haven't seen that capability in here. Uh, I know you can add hashtags for Instagram posts, but as far as tagging people, I don't, I think, I think because it's a third party, it doesn't register it. Got it. And then let's say that there's a post that's scheduled to go on th next Thursday, but I really want to move that to next Saturday. Do I just drag it in the calendar? Uh, you don't drag it, but you would just go to edit. And then we're going to move forward from this side, continue. We would just go, okay, so this is going to, this is already scheduled for the 29th, but I want it to post tomorrow at 440. I would just adjust the date and the time and hit let schedule. And now it's going to show me the new date and time. Okay, got it. And then um, let's say I want to stop posting for now, but I want to build a bank of content that I can play with. Is there a way to, to look do they have like content that I can sift through or is it I have to leave it up and allow them to get ready to post and then I can see what's coming? So if you want to look through the content they provide and pick and choose the ones you like, what I recommend doing is actually going to settings and in content changing it to every day and then I believe it's like the sixth of every month, they'll send you an email saying, hey, the content for August is ready for you to preview um, or whatever it is, like go ahead and check it out. Once you do that, since you have all of it accessed, I'd rec recommend taking 20 minutes, sifting through the new content they've created, deleting the ones you don't like, you can shift around the ones you do. And that is the way to utilize that bank. But you are correct in that you wouldn't be able to shut it off and still see the content they're creating. If it's shut off, they're not going to create content for you. They assume you don't want it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And you're recording this, right, Abby? <laughs> yeah, it's recorded. These are always recorded. Um, any other questions? All right. This one was pretty short and sweet. Um, again, I know that I went through this quickly. Yes, these are always recorded. I do always post them to the YouTube channel. If you have been waiting for recap emails with these links, I do apologize. I did get behind on that. So I am sending one out this afternoon that will have all of the most recent trainings in there just so that you guys can review it. Um, I do apologize for that. I got a little bit behind on those recap emails. However, all training videos are automatically uploaded to YouTube, you know, within 20 minutes of these getting completed. So you can always access that. And if you want to access these videos, um, all you have to do is go on the office side of Bay go to links and then click on the Pure West YouTube tutorials. Um, I think the easiest way to get to them is just to go to playlists and then you can go to um, Wednesday Bay trainings, which are all of the ones that we do now. So um, if you do want to access these, that is where they're located. Um, I also do have quick training videos if you just need a quick view of something that maybe we covered in the past. So just a couple things for you to keep in mind. All I right. You're fantastic. You are so great. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, well, if there's no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and end this session today. Um, I know that there's been some more flare-ups of COVID or in that we've adjusted our offices just to err on the side of caution, but that doesn't mean that we can't still meet. So um, if you do have questions, if you do want a one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to email me. We can set up a webinar. 
and we can go over things together that way. Um, so even though we might be going a little bit, you know, going back to social distancing, it doesn't mean that I can't still meet with you one on one. So if you do need that help, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to get something scheduled. And other than that, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate all of you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.